hi guys so i know i look a mess right now i look sweaty i look like i ran a mile or whatever but today i mean tonight guys it's like what it's 11 p.m guys i just got home from work i am just like i need to wash my hair <laughs> this isn't my hair guys it's not actually guys i purchased someone's hair and i'm just borrowing it for the moment until mine just decides to flourish so i need to wash jada jada's under here what i want to show you guys is my process of how i remove my wig and how i like wash my hair i am not about to deal with this underneath this wig so i just wanted to let you guys know what glue i use because i'm not going to be removing this glue with water because i tried that and i almost ripped all my edges out get your good old alcohol okay so i have alcohol and the glue that i have on is ghost bond <laughs> and i only used one one layer i've had this wig on since monday today it's thursday night it's about to be friday so i was at work and it started lifting you know like it's giving out it's so this is a perfect time for me to take this wig off and then just wash my hair and just do this all again <laughs> freaking way okay guys so i just took her off so i'm just gonna lay her gently on the bed because like she's worth more than pennies and gold <laughs> whatever so if you guys can see this brown line it's because i marked on my forehead with my lip liner <laughs> this old one it's basically marking off the line of where I wanted the glue to be. So I didn't want it to be back here, but I did it before the line. Of course, right here, you can't avoid that. And right here, so it's gonna be right here. And a little bit of my edges, you know, it won't be in it. I don't wear a stocking cap under my wigs because guys, it's clockable. I can see it. So guys, I took my wig off and girl, it needs a good itching. Oh, that feels so good okay so what i'm gonna do now is fast forward through me removing all of this glue and i have to remove it with alcohol because look i'm not about to lose all my edges that i don't have okay <laughs> Okay guys, so I just removed most of the glue from my edges and oh my god, it just felt horrible. I think I'm going to give Ghost Bond a little bit of a break and try the Got To Be Free Spray because I don't want to keep putting alcohol on my edges, like that's not safe. <laughs> but anyways guys, um, the rest will just be removed when I wash my hair. So right now what I'm going to do is undo the braids because... Honestly, I've had these braids in for probably two, three weeks. And my hair needs to be dealt with. So I'm going to remove my braids and I'll be right back. I'm pretty sure you guys all know how to remove braids, okay? Hey, hi guys. I finally took my braids out and I haven't like brushed my hair or anything. So this is just how my hair looks. Yeah, this is how it looks when I first take my braid down and all I'm going to do now is detangle my hair and then put it into four sections so when I wash my hair, it's like easier to manage. So I'm just going to start brushing. Ow, 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 oh. Guys, I'll be right back. 
So guys, I like basically brushed out my hair and this is how much hair I lost. I don't think it matters, but my hair has really been in braids for a long time and you do lose a lot of hair every day. So this is my hair so far and now all I do is put it into four sections with my hair ties, not tight. So <laughs> while it's up like that, I'm going to go get two more hair ties. Okay, so now um, I don't know why I put my hair up because it's coming down. So it's basically kind of split in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to be washing my hair anyways. And then split this in half. Okay guys, so my hair is in four sections. So the next step is to wash my hair and I just wanted to quickly show you guys what I wash my hair with now. So I, I used to use Herbal Essence then Pantene, but now I'm using Maui. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but this is what I'm using now. And these products are so good they smell so bomb and it comes with a spray like you'd have to buy the spray but it's so amazing guys and they're made with all natural ingredients i mean they have some like weird chemical stuff but most of the ingredients are all natural like they use aloe leaves they use water <laughs> they use coconuts fruits guava seed and mango seed and seed butter like a whole bunch of crazy stuff their first ingredient is always aloe juice but guys this smells so good and it's it's just really good for your hair they have a lot for like curly hair thick hair dry hair colored hair but this one is coconut milk and this one's for dry hair so i use this in my hair wash and condition it and then i'll be right back with you guys just wanted to show you guys what i use so i'll see you guys when i get back Bye. Hey guys, so I just came out of the shower and I got this turby twist thing on because my hair was dripping everywhere. So guys, y'all, y'all, it took forever. Ah! Y'all, look at my hair. Like shrinkage is really serious. Oh my god. Even though I don't do my natural hair as much, guys, I do have a few products. Today, I have the Camille Rose Coconut Water. This is a leave-in conditioner. I have Jamaican Black Castor Oil, and I have some grapeseed oil in this bottle. It's a huge bottle, so I pour some in there. Um, so that's what I'm going to be using in my hair. I'm going to use the leave-in first, then I'm going to use... Oh wait, I have something else. Alright guys, pause. So I have the Camille Rose Leave-In and I have Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Leave-In Camille Rose Leave-In first. Then I'm going to use the grapeseed oil. Then I'm going to use some of this and then a little bit of castor oil. So that's just going to be kind of like my LCO method, which is leave-in cream and then oil and then oil <laughs> so that's what i'm gonna do right now and i'm not really a hair person i just like i just feel like my hair needs it you know i don't want my hair to be dry so i'm just gonna do one section for y'all and y'all can see what i'm doing all right guys i'm gonna do this back section really quickly so i kind of detangled my hair in the shower but i'm gonna detangle again just to make sure it's detangled and moisturizing my hair i don't Oh, my brush had hella products in it. Anyways, so I'm just going to go in. So take the leave-in first. And guys, I'm not stingy with my products. Come on. This little one drop of product thing ain't working. Like, your hair needs it. Feed it. 
So, you know, just put that in the hair, run my fingers through it, make sure it's like in it. And then if I have leftover, I just put it like on the other side. Then I brush that out. So then what I'm gonna do is open, Oh, All right, the Cantu is like really making me mad. It's not, okay. <sighs> smells like hair products. So I just take a little bit. I don't need a lot of products in my hair. Just a little like this. Put that over it. Ooh, okay. Okay, you were hungry, now you're fed. Okay, I see you, boo, I see you. Okay, now that that's in there, I'm gonna take some of my grapeseed oil, and it's green. <laughs> it's such an interesting color, actually. I'm not gonna take a lot, just enough where it could just seal everything in. So now I'm gonna like brush through my hair. Guys, this smells so good. Like all of the mixtures, it just smells great. So, see, I don't like to put a lot of products in my hair because I don't want it to like get like a build up. I hate that. Last step is I'm gonna take some castor oil and only a little bit because I don't really need a lot. Plus, castor oil is mad rough. Like, it's just extra sticky for no reason. I'm gonna take that, rub it, and seal the ends again. Focus it on my ends. Okay, so then that's it for moisturizing and sealing my hair. I do have shea butter, but guys, first of all, it's hard. Like, what it makes me so mad it just freezes up and i don't have time to keep heating it up you know to like melt it like who has time for that so i'm just gonna like pin this up and then concentrate on the first one and guys i'm just gonna show you how i do the first one and then then fast forward and show you how my hair looks in the end so i'm gonna do braids i was gonna do twists but like i'm just gonna do braids because whenever i sleep on my twists like they get so flat. Ew, like they don't even look cute. So I'm gonna do loose braids. You don't have to do them tight. This is just to stretch my hair because I don't want to use heat. So normally I would blow dry my hair because of course I'm gonna put my wig back on. But like instead of using more heat in my hair, I'm just gonna stretch it the non-heat way. Guys, you know when you have that itch and you're like, I got you. So that's it, and guys, I'm just gonna basically do this all over my head, and then that's it, guys. Very simple, just take sections, do that, you know, moisturize these in a hole, and just part them and braid the hair. Very simple. So this is how my hair looks right now. <laughs> It really shrunk, but the next time you'll see me, I guess, is in the day when, like, I'm gonna style my hair. <laughs> so funny. Anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Hey, guys. So, this is how my hair is looking in the morning. You know, like, it kind of shrunk up because, you know, like, your hair's gonna shrink. It's natural. Like, that's how it is. So, I'm just gonna, like, undo these braids and see what we're working with. I'm telling y'all, I don't do my hair. The last time I did my hair, it was disappointing. I just gave up and started wearing wigs but there should be some definition but when you're on doing braids you're gonna lose that like your hair is gonna be all like frizzy looking that's why I like to do twists but like when I sleep on my twists they get so flat so I don't have time for that I'm not sure if these braids dried because this kind of feels a little bit wet but like who cares you know okay all right they're definitely wet it's fine. My sister told me that um, when you do a braid out, you're supposed to do another braid out to fully stretch your hair. <sighs> okay, that's how the first part looks. Let's see how this part will look. Okay. 
All right, guys, I'm going to fast forward because this is taking too long. Hi, guys. So I just pulled out the braids and I'm just going to pick my hair and see how it looks. Ow! That actually kind of hurts. Honestly, I'm the type of person, I don't care too much about definition. I just care about like how my hair looks like. Oh. Okay guys, so this is how my hair looks. I actually don't like it at all. I would not go outside with my hair looking like this. I just feel like it just looks a mess. And my roots are like, my hair is pretty soft. Like I put so much product in there. Really soft, but like, I don't know if it's because it's a braid out or whatever. Like, I just don't like my hair. And my hair grows in like a layered way. So like the top part, the back part is like way longer than everything else. So it's just like everything else is down here and everything's up here. I just don't like that. But um, yeah, I, this is why I actually don't do my natural hair because I just, I'm so picky and I just don't like how my hair looks. And I am going somewhere tomorrow and I'm not about to deal with a fro. I'm about to braid this back and put a wig on. This was me just showing you guys how my hair looks after taking it out of the wig. And I guess you can kind of keep track of like how long my hair is. Because like maybe I'll do this like once every four months. <laughs> guys, I am not with this natural hair thing. I don't think you guys understand. I mean, if my hair was at a longer length where like everything was even, I would be okay with that. But this just looks really uneven and choppy in my opinion. And it's just not cute. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you guys did like it, give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel. I'm so grateful for everyone who's been subscribing lately. Um, thank you guys. <laughs> thank you guys so much. I'm really grateful and stay tuned for way more videos. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna try styling it. Um, okay, let's see. I like my little bangs going on. So I'm going to leave this crazy part out. Oh no. Oh, oh no. No way. My hair looks a mess. <gasps> See, this is why I cannot deal with natural hair. Okay guys, look. I look like a grandma. Like, what the heck? See, now my hair looks a mess. This is what happens every time I style my hair.